just feel like like god's been just telling me one thing uh that has been ministering to me for the past while now and that is um that he really loves me and it just sounds so elementary but i just feel like you know god's reminding me all over again how much he loves me and so i feel like that is it sounds it doesn't sound like a massive word but i just feel like that is what the lord wants to do today he just wants to love you and he just wants you to know that um i was kind of i was praying about what god wanted me to do and i i just felt like he wanted me to sing the song over all do we have so much ko churata do we have so much ko samhata dekhta hu main jab tere cross ki or do we have so much ko bachata तू ही है वो जो मुझको चुराता तू ही है वो जो मुझको बचाता देखता हूं मैं जब तेरे क्रूस की ओर तू ही है वो जो मुझको बचाता मैं आजा से हुआ हूँ मैं आसा तेरे लहू से हुआ हूँ तू ही है वो जो मुझको चुराता तू ही है वो जो मुझको संभालता देखता हूँ मैं जब तेरे क्रूस की ओर तू ही है वो जो मुझको बचाता मैं आजाद हुआ मैं आजाद तेरे लहू से हुआ तेरे लहू से हुआ हूँ और मैं आजाद हूँ हम आसाद है मैं आसाद तेरे लहू से so i i'm so blessed to be on this call um i you know it's it's crazy i mean today was such a crazy day i i was like i in when the day started i was like man i i don't know how i'm going to talk about this this evening uh now in this call but it just i feel like today just sums up like all of 2020 so my dad i don't know some of you all probably know him or maybe some of you all don't know him but he is partially blind and he uh he's an amazing minister of god so my dad um uh he his eyesight has been deteriorating um and it it's it's gotten pretty bad so he was supposed to do like a surgery last year okay uh that would result in maybe him losing his eyesight completely like there were two two ways it could go either he could lose his eyesight completely or he could get some of his eyesight back so this was a thing he, we were praying about it and like you know didn't really know how to go about it but i we wanted him to take his time with it so we kind of postponed that and then today uh i think yesterday my mom booked like a sorry i'd like to say something okay yeah so yesterday my mom just like had a, like uh, booked an appointment with a doctor for his eyes uh, and she went to the doctor this morning and so the doctor saw his eyes and then decided that hey actually now would be a good time to do the surgery and my dad is just that kind of person so he was like cool yeah let's do the surgery so literally in the morning <laughs> they went to the doctor uh, they went into surgery uh, so my 
dad's eye like he was you know being operated on his eyes and the surgery was successful yeah and so he can see my face again which is awesome and i feel like like what he is doing what i sense not just in this room because i know some of y'all and I, and i've and i've had i've learned so much from so much of so many of y'all uh, but i feel like what i i felt a lot tell me is that you know um what he is really doing right now in this time like even this call even all the other kind of ministry that we're doing i don't think you can really quantify the work he's doing inside of us this year you know i don't think we'll only know it maybe in a couple of years because the kind of fires that we are walking through in this year some of us have never walked through that fire i can say personally i have not walked through that fire my family has not walked through that fire and you know i know that what he's doing is firstly this he's he's showing us that we actually don't really even need resources to do what he's called us to do like it is not the resources i have through my strength and through my hustle or whatever that is going to make the miracle happen you know like turning a blind eye into an eye that can see that is the kind of work and restoration he's doing in our families and he's doing in our lives you know and i really believe like what he's doing is he's breaking off striving that the whole world is going through right now because like companies and like corporates and like all different people are trying to solve this and understand this but we have such a download where we know that hey god has seen the end of all of this and i have the key to it and what he's doing is breaking off the striving of trying to make things happen and i really feel like as i personally i'm seeing it because i want to control right i want to control things because a lot of things are out of my control right now and i'm sure all of us feel that way and i feel like god wants to speak rest into that that hey it's okay that things are out of your control and it's okay that there are many things you don't understand because i am taking control of things like never before and so this is what i feel like there is a a deepening of the roots like the roots uh that we have in you know in the spiritual they're going so much more deeper than they've ever gone this year and so these are few things i know i i don't want to like there's no like conclusion or start to this like i feel like these are few things that the lord put on my heart but you know uh, i want to close with this i just feel like the lord's pleasure over us all you know live jam but even every single person here i feel like god is is speaking to us and saying hey you know what i'm so proud of the work you've done because when you when you do amazing work like what live jam is doing uh there's always like more right there are like so many kids we need to reach out to there are so many people we need to help and bless right and i feel like today god is saying hey can you imagine what you've done can you just take a minute and look at what you've done and i man i am still talking to some of the kids from tura from orisha from all these different places and i can still see what god is doing you know the 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 shame of abuse that has been broken of of kids and i feel like this is what god wants to tell us today that i am so pleased with you can you can you look at what you've done not just the city leaders but even live jam can we just take a minute and just see and look at what he's done because he's done amazing and wonderful things and i want to close with this verse that is going to make you laugh isaiah 43 verse 19 okay and it says see i am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it i am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland and i feel like you know the, today was like one of those days for me you know where he really made a way where there was no way and i feel like that is what he's doing in our lives that is what he's doing in tura that is what he's doing in odisha in dehradun he's making a way where there's no way and he is doing it 
And while we sit in the celebration, in, while we sit under the pleasure of the Father, looking at the work we've done, looking at, at all the great things in this time of introspection, because you can get really self-critical in a time like this too. And I feel like he's, he's shifting our gaze and he's showing us, hey, look at what you've, you've, we've done together. And while I do that, that new thing is going to come. It's just going to happen. So I think this is a bit disjointed, this word. Honestly, that's okay. Uh, but I feel like these are some few things that, that you know, God wanted, uh, wanted me to tell you all.